Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of profits today, checking out some more beer from Pasquale de la Seine in Brussels in Belgium. A fantastic brewery, one of the best, like most iconic, I think, Belgian breweries. They have so many flagship beers, I guess, that are just like so good every single time you get them. And one of them is Taz Bulba. So this is a version on that. This is Petit Bulba. So I got this one from Mess from the Belgisk Hoops, so thank you to Mess. Every year for the Bad Seed Beer Fest, Mess has a care package for us with some beers that they sell. And this was one of the beers alongside some other really, really awesome beers. So this is what they call a hoppy light ale. It's 2.8% alcohol, and it's a low ABV version of Taz Bulba. They're heavily hopped. I guess you could call it a Belgian IPA almost. And it's heavily hopped featuring noble hops. It is such a great beer. So. Let's check out Petit Bulba, a session version. I gave, I got a few bottles and I had to share one with just Michael. He got it and he was like, holy sh, this is amazing. So I'm looking forward to this. Uh, Pour is a cloudy golden yellow col color in the glass. You know, got a proper glassware as well. So you know it's gonna be good. Always a great drinking experience with the right glassware. Just such a nice frothy head. You can see it's leaving some sick lacing on the glass it's very pale i think maybe a shade paler than regular sauce bourbon let's check out the aroma on petit bourbon oh that smells banging <laughs> it smells pretty much exactly like sauce bourbon just a little bit more easygoing but it's still got that abundance of really floral and peppery noble hop nuances really spicy some doughy breadiness too some crackery notes Fuck, I just want to drink it. I can feel it instantly. Like it's just, oh, I just activates my saliva. Smells like so damn good. Let's just do it. Cheers. Thanks for time to mess with the beer. That's going to be gone in fucking seconds. Holy shit. This is one of the best low ABV beers I have had. Wow, this drinks way above its pay grade. Wow, wowzers, holy shit. That is such a crusher. It's It feels a little less, less bitter than Taz Bulba, but it's still got a nice bitterness. So much floral and peppery, spicy, grassy, Really black peppery drying in now. Here comes the bitterness. Noble hop notes that you get from Taz Bulba. Paired with like, this is more, it's got a, a fluffy, airy breadiness, but it's so light. It's almost just like some kind of cheap supermarket, like whatever fluffy bread, like wonder bread type, like just like bread with next to no flavor, but it's just really fluffy. You really feel it like just wafts in your mouth. And then then some citrus tones, good, good amount of spice. I have like four or five bottles of this, I think, or is it three? Yeah, because it gave some away. I kind of just want to go down into this other crack and other and pour it. Like this should be an endless glass. This should not <laughs> be a glass that you finish. Like this, they need to put this in 750s. Like, are you kidding me? I know they only do the 33 centiliter bottle size. Holy shit, they put this in 750s. Um, th this would be just amazing. 2.8% guys. Like you could almost give this to kids. <laughs> I don't advocate kids drinking beer, but like, holy crap, this is, I think the last time I had a beer of this ABD that blew me away this much must have been um, from Side Project, their, their table beer. So also maybe some grisettes. I think that I had one, also Everly, yeah, from, uh, from Barrique Brewing was also like, off. but this is not funky this is you know not like wild beer but like think about this with burnt amices. holy hell that'll be good i'm really trying to take smaller sips because i just want to chug this such a nice fruitiness up front and then it turns into all those spicy notes like almost like a little bit of an elderflower but floral citric elderflower notes then all that spice both like hoppy spice but also phenolic kind of belgian -y yeast spice and then finishing with Oh, so like drying black pepper, like really peppery and almost like like biting into bitter green herbs. 
sitting on the back, almost what you get in like really saturated, heavily hop, hazy IPAs, modern, you know, IPAs. That, and then that fluffy, airy kind of brightness. There's also some crackery notes to it, but the, it's just so fluffy in the mouth. The body is fantastic. It's so fluffy and airy and it's 2.8%. Like, it takes so much skill to brew beer is at this ABV this well. Like, this drinks like a 4 to 5% beer, but it's 2.8. It's fucking crazy. Fuck. I just want to do this. This could be the first review where I go down into the, my basement, into the fridge, take another bottle out. Let's do another. But I'm not going to because I have two bottles left only, and this would be like something you just drink all fucking day. Like, <laughs> shit, this is good. I think I'm gonna go 95, this is world class. <laughs> this is fucking the, one of the best table beers I think I've had in ever. Like, holy shit. That is, I understand why just Michael was is psyched about this one. You gotta love traditionally kind of flavored beer. You gotta love, especially noble hops to love this. But if you love like hoppy lagers with no, a lot of noble hops, or if you love like more, more spicy Belgian ales, like this is very different from your sweeter, more fruity Belgian blondes and stuff like that. This is kind of like just, it's kind of like a Belgian IPA at 2.8% really. Uh, I think Tasburba is four or five. It's just like such amazing beers. So if you guys had a chance to try a Petit Bourba, let me know what you thought of it. If not, get out there and get some. And you do not do the dumb thing I did and just do one bottle. You buy four bottles or six bottles, a case. Like this is something where you just want to drink it all the fucking time and you want to drink loads. Like this is something you could just sit in a one liter mug like, like and you'll be fine because it's 2.8%. Like, fuck, this is... Uh, I'm digging this. So yeah, if you guys had it, let me know. Thanks a ton, Mess, and the big news for the beer. That was dope. So uh, yeah, if you had this one, let me know, guys. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter, Instagram. Give the video a thumbs up. If you didn't ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I'm, I can't drink any. Only study this gorgeous fucking lacing and say cheers. Oh, there's a drop. And see you guys in the beer review.